What's up, good people? Thank you for tuning in to 4722 Dominique, looking lovely on a budget. Today I'm coming at you guys, um, just like the topic says, I'm going to be talking about how black folk use setting ups as a meal ticket when people die. I'm going to be reenacting a little skit, so um, I hope nobody is offended during this video. This is not to offend anybody or the deceased. This is just for comical purposes only, so please, please take a look at the next clip while I reenact this quick little skit. Little Tracy, um, I'm going to have to ask you if you don't mind, can you please, please just come back around... Um, Let's say maybe two or three. Give give our family just time to, you know, grieve. Aunt Estime just died. She just passed about 7 o'clock this morning. And um, it's now uh, 11. So we're just going to ask if you can maybe come back just a little later on. Um, you know, until we just have this just a couple of hours, you know, to ourselves so that we can, you know, just handle some things. And you're more than welcome to come back at about you know maybe two or three or later this afternoon about six if you don't mind please okay now we're gonna do little tracy <clears throat> this is little tracy this is her response to the family friend i'm sorry not the family friend the family niece she's the niece that stayed with aunt sma um you know the whole time before she passed, she lived there to help care for her aunt. All right, now this is little Tracy. <clears throat> hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You want me to come back here later on about 6 o'clock? I ain't losing my spot in line. I done bought my two liter soda. And first of all, let me address this, how I even know um, Miss SMA, how I even know to be here for the family. Y'all be talking about y'all want people here for y'all and support. We supposed to be supporting people in our community and our neighborhood. And I am here on time. First of all, I'm here on time. Y'all know y'all always be talking about CP time all the time. And for those of you that don't know, I'm talking about color people time. Well, I am on time before time. And it's still a problem. First of all, how I found out was last night my little cousin Bobby T about 12 o'clock a.m. in the nighttime had told me that they weren't looking for Miss e they weren't looking for Miss SMA to make it and she done gone on the glory and everything and I am here on time with my two liter and if you think for one minute I'm about to get up out this line and lose my spot when they bring that big bucket of KFC chicken you got another thing coming and I done got my two liter too mm -mm. no no I'm gonna stay here cause I knew Miss SMA ever since 1987 when I was 10 years old I've been knowing Miss SMA when she used to pass by on our road and blow the horn no, or either she would just bump just beep beep Miss SMA blew the horn at me when I was 10 in 1987 so that's how I know her and also when we used to sit in church at the first Baptist AME church in the front row Miss SMA used to look back and say little girl stop smacking that gum so I am close to the family honey i don't know where you coming off but i've been here on time and as i said before i got my two liter and i ain't losing my place in line because i'm gonna get my two pieces of chicken my snack and a biscuit yes i am i'm gonna stay right here and be a hostess or whatever you need i'll step outside while y'all pray oh god heavenly father help us during this time of bereavement with miss s and me but i ain't going home because i ain't leaving my spot i am not leaving my spot in line to get my food and i done bought my two liter no ma'am not me mm -mm, i'm staying right here really really people really Okay, now that was a quick skit, an example of how people do during funeral times, how black people do. Yes, I said black because I am black and I've always been going to uh, black funerals, so no pun intended. But anyway, let's get on up in the nitty gritty of this video. People, come on, really, we got to really stop this madness. Y'all know if somebody passed on that Sunday, 
it's like we be looking forward to it or something the whole week. Not that you're glad a person has passed, but the first thing, come on now, be real. The first thing some of y'all think about is, well, I ain't got to cook this week. I go over there Monday, Wednesday, then got it mapped out for when the kids get out of school, what days you're going over there and everything, bringing just two sodas all week, going into the Dollar General, getting them Dollar drinks, taking them over people's house, and just eating up all that food. And another thing is, you you using it like a meal ticket, but then don't want to go home. Like little Trace in the last skit. Now, I can imagine this. Use your imaginations just for a little bit, people. Little Trace is probably going to been there since 3 o'clock. All the way to 11, 12 o'clock at night. And don't want to clean up. Y'all know how we do black people. Y'all, I'm just being real. And I'm pretty sure there's some other races out there that can agree with me. You know, I have no prejudice in this here. But I'm just telling it like it is on for, for color people, for my people, how we do things. I be watching. I mean, you're going to sit there all day. You're going to gossip. And that's going to be in part two the dumb things that we say during setting ups um, on the way to people's funeral. This crazy stuff. All the gossip that you talk about or find out or think you know during the week. But that's another video, so stay tuned for that. But what we're talking about right now is using it as a free meal ticket. People, these people just lost the loved ones. It's not their responsibility to make sure you good and full. I tell you what they need to do. You need to start serving some Ritz crackers and some square cheese or some toothpicks and just give them some water and um, some fruit punch. And I bet they'll stop this foolishness because it's just ridiculous. Y'all know what I'm talking about. It don't make no kind of sense. You got people sitting up all the time of night and to finish my story about little Tracy, then been over there and soon as the family um niece come out and say, Okay, well you done been here all day and since you wanted to stay and be a hostess, we're gonna just stay around and clean up. Oh, I can imagine little Tracy right now. I'm i I'm tired. I done been here and host these people all day. I ain't about to I ain't hardly finna clean up. No ma'am, I ain't got time for that. I'm going to stay here, but I'm not going to clean my feet hurt. I done passed out paper napkins. I done gave people Kleenex when they was crying by uh, SMA. And I'm just tired. I just can't do it. I got three children of my own. I'm just going to lay right here and you can clean up. You and Uncle Bubble. You and um Lily. And you and um Aunt Ruthine. Y'all can clean up. It ain't even her aunt, but Aunt Ruthine, yes. Y'all can clean up, but I'm going to get on the couch. Stupid stuff like that. I mean, you just sit here in these people's house on their couches, running up their cable bill, their light bill, their water bill. You're using it like a free little hotel room during the week. You go home, cut your lights out, clean up your house, and go next door to the uh, setting up or cross town or wherever you got to travel. And make sure you be there too, sitting up comfortable. Then, then you got your bedroom, you got your bedroom shoes, excuse me, y'all, in the trunk. You know you planning on staying a long, a long time, excuse me, about your lounge chair. Oh my God, because it ain't no way to sit, so you can't prepare. I got my chair, mm -hmm. got my bedroom shoes. I'm going in here to do what I can do and make sure everybody get their food. And I'm going to eat this week. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I'm going to eat this week. Come on, y'all. We got to do better than that. We need to, to just love people during this time, pray for people. Yes, bring more than a freaking two liter drinks and some chicken why don't you cook some chicken bog or barbecue? Do something for these people to give back because they're already grieving. They shouldn't have to worry about food. When everybody bringing a thousand sodas and got a little teeny half a pot of, of rice on the stove trying to make chicken bog with two chicken legs or two chicken thighs ain't going to cut it. These people grieving. And we use it as free meal tickets. Y'all know I know what I'm talking about. I didn't see it. I'm trying to tell you we need to cut this foolishness out. Getting there talking about the people, families and their children and who going with who and who what you heard about this. Leaving the dog on set notes talking about these people and looked in their photo album. Got all photo albums, got all kind of stuff to say. We just need to stop this. That's why people don't like it in the house. It's just too much. Got a thousand tents in the back. We done set up and made camp at these people's house for the week. Y'all know I, I know what I'm talking about. But anyway, I just wanted to come on here and, and just address these things, how people act, how black people act at setting ups for the week. Y'all know I know what I'm talking about. So if you got anything to say about this, please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Leave your, um, your comments in the bottom box below. Again, this video is not to offend anybody. It's comical. 
In some cases, it's sad because death is sad, but it's true. Y'all know that. Y'all know it. So I don't want no bad comments. I, if your family member was named any name, I name. I don't know your family. I don't know these people. It's just something that come off the top of my head. I apologize if you are offended. This was not for offending nobody by no means necessary. That's all I'm going to say about that. And I'm not going to say it no more. Because I'm telling the truth, dot com, org, and everything else, and y'all know it. So, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to check out part two, the dumb things that we say during the week of the funeral, at the people house, on the way to the church, after the funeral has been said and done, or the setting up, said and done, the stupid things that we sit in these folk house and say. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and please, y'all. Mind your business. Just mind your business and go there to help these people out because they really need you during that time of bereavement. So I just want to put it on blast and say really what you won't say. You might as well just say this and this don't end the video. How about at a certain time, designated time for them people to get up out your house? As a matter of fact, why don't you just go ahead and just kick everybody out the house and be done with it and call it a day. And really cherish those that love you that are there to support you. So I just want to say that. I love y'all. Peace and blessings. And don't forget to check out part two. Peace.